And we're gonna do a little bit of hard turn here. Oh yeah, no, this thing handles pretty good. It feels so light on its feet too. And it grips. It definitely does grip, so <laughs> it's pretty fun. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. In today's review, we're gonna get behind the wheel of this 2022 Kia Seltos EX all-wheel drive model. Now, I wanna give a big shout out to Bartow Ford for allowing me some time with this Kia Seltos. I'll put down all the information below on the description. All right, guys, so right, here we have the 2022 Kia Seltos EX model. Now this is an all-wheel drive model. And uh, this particular SUV, this subcompact SUV was introduced for the year 2021. Um, actually in other global markets, it was introduced in 2020. So this is a particular, you know, a special SUV because obviously only the North America and a few other markets get this particular Seltos. There's another two versions of the Seltos, which are a little bit smaller uh, for other markets like Mexico and South America and some other parts of Europe and, and, uh, and Asia. But uh, this is a really nice model. Obviously this is, you know, kind of sit in between this above the Kia Soul and below the Sportage. It, is, it does share the platform with the Hyundai Kona and also the Kia Soul. So basically it's the same type of platform as you see in other Kia models and other Hyundai models. But it's a very nice, I mean, very nice looking SUV, even though it's subcompact, it's got very unique features in the way it's designed. Uh, you know, a bit of chrome and you got a bit of aluminum. Very, very unique. You know, obviously Hyundai and um, and Kia have done some excellent design in their SUVs. Obviously, they're trying to distinct themselves from the rest of the competition, and they have done so. I mean, they have some of the best designs in SUVs, I think they have right, done. Everybody. So we do you have know, basically five trims of this Kia Seltos. We got starting with the LX, which starts basically at just under $23,000. We got the S model, which is the only front-wheel drive model you can get. We also have an EX, which is a smaller, it's kind of like a mid-level mid trim. We also have a Nightfall Edition, which is brand new for 2022. And we also have an SX top of the line, version that goes to for just about under $29,000. I should say this is an all-wheel drive model. Uh, this has got the regular two-liter normally aspirated in four-cylinder engine. They also have a 1.6 liter turbo four that you can also get with this Celtus. All right, guys, so checking out this Kia Celtus. Got a really cool looking aluminum trim. It's got some texture to it. Uh, we do not have any type of um, LED lighting. You have to go to the SX model, but this just got your standard projector lens light here. As you can see, we got a bit of a slight uh, daytime running light, uh, but we also have some just some regular halogen fog lights as well. As you can see, we got a different, really cool the way it is, this aluminum trim on the grill, and we have a little bit of a more of a blackout here, part of the center grill, and we got aluminum trim here as well. So it's really cool. There's no front sensors that you can see at all in this model but it's a really nice style and really does you know kia did a really good job with that now we see for 2022 the changes that you can see guys we got the new kia batch um obviously this has been a little bit slightly mod not modified but to change the color i know these are basically silver in color i know this is probably done a little modification because it's done around the vehicle and a couple of details inside i do not think this is a uh, factory model, although it could have, but um, you know, if you guys know about this type of little modification, it's or maybe the Kia dealership, or is it something that somebody personally did? Uh, let me know in the comments. But a uh, really cool Kia. So that's basically the brand new things for 2022 for the Kia Seltzers. It's the uh, Nightfall Edition that's for new for 2022, and the new badging that Kia has for the new vehicle. So I think it's really, really good looking badge. As you can see, guys, we got an all-wheel drive badge here. You can see we got 17-inch wheels strong in this vehicle. We do have LED turn signals here that's part of that that we have really nice aluminum little trim here that's really cool design here it's not a chrome it's basically an aluminum but it's really cool looking now you can see we got some black and aluminum roof roofs as well we do have a regular center in this and you can see we get a little short fin as well here for your navigation antenna and you can see the the, the color that we have here guys on this one is called cherry black which is a really cool color as uh, you can see some of the uh looks like a bit of red in it too it's really cool bit of that red metallic which gives it a bit of a cherry flavor so it's really cool color it's just a cherry black color that we have um as you can see going through the back here we got a little bit of more aluminum here with the kia badge as you can see we got the Celtus name there and uh really cool what you know they have done with the design bit of aluminum trim on the bottom as well uh we have no exhaustive whatsoever at all but um you know what can you do guys it's a it's a really cool design i think really the unique selling to this all right kia. let's check out the tire and wheel package of this Celtus ex model so this is basically the 17 inch wheels that come with the Celtus. these are basically aluminum with some uh, dark uh, gray uh, accent there as well really nice wheel of course we got 255 millimeters kumo solus ta all season tire which are really nice obviously not a big tire but 17 inch wheels is what comes with this uh kia Celtus. really cool i mean obviously they look pretty nice i mean it's the way they are with aluminum wheels with this black 
back and exterior really look good. We got a 12 inch rotors in the front with single piston calipers and no performance or anything like that. You might have to go to the Kona N to get something like this in performance right, version. So, so we're heading towards the back here. We have our key here with us, which really, as you can see, it's a really nice Kia key, which is cool. We got the side, all the, uh, your controls are here on the side. We got panic button, we got open and close. Now, obviously does not have a, any type of automatic doors. So all right, so we see. have to lift this manually here because we got no automatic rear hatch. So we got to lift, uh, lift this up manually. So we got, we got the aluminum, the Kia badge there, which is kind of, it's kind of like a little Miami color. The car is really cool. Uh, and of course we got your reverse camera there. So we left it. Get that hatch opening it's coming here plenty of nice space i mean this is, looks pretty roomy i mean this is probably i'm looking at this this is kind of the size of even an escape you know like the one i'm kind of used to not much much bigger or not much smaller actually pretty good size room this is kind of about 27 square uh, cubic feet of space here in the back i'll put those numbers for you guys up on the screen but uh, really plenty of you know, room obviously we got some floor mesh here that's part of this low mileage used uh kia Celtics. this has only got about 5,000 miles so it's pretty much brand new uh, i really love the room here in the back we don't have much I don't see any type of connections here at all. Uh, we just got some hooks. Uh, obviously, you can put the seats down here as well. So if you lift this up, these are basically 60-40 splitting in rear seats here with some nice, uh, obviously we got the soft tech, which is a kind of synthetic leather on the seats here. So if we lift this up here, we got a spare saving spare tire. As you can see, we got the jacket and everything. You can put a little more storage stuff in the back here in the bottom, but obviously it's a you know, pretty basic interior of backspace here for the Kia. So, which is not bad at all. Actually, it's pretty nice and roomy. I think this will be pretty good for everyday life. So, all right guys, since we have no remote, anything like that, you just have to bring this down manually and get this closed. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior or the rear of this Kia Seltos. Now, obviously, this is a subcompact SUV. I don't expect a lot of room. Uh, the materials are pretty nice. This is still, you know, hard plastic, but it's very nice. We got some black kind of trim here. We have some aluminum trim here just beside the handle. We got a little bit of a, you know, basically that same probably fake leather and just more plastic wheel with window control. A bit of room for your drinks in the bottom there. We got a unique kind of unique, uh, the way that speaker grill is. But over here, guys, we have the black Syntex. Uh, it's kind of synthetic leather that Kia has in this model. So it's not bad. I mean, it feels pretty decently. It looks like a, feels a little bit perforated. And also got a little bit of design there, as you can see, it's really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. It's not bad, actually. It's pretty roomy back here. I wasn't expecting this much. Obviously, the seats, it's pretty much where it should be for a regular seating passenger. We got, I still got a couple of inches here left for space, and I'm about 5'11". So it's the, the room is actually pretty good. We got plenty of headroom here, as you can see. Uh, we got a couple of LED lights here, as you can see, really nice. Uh, pocket here behind the uh, passenger side no pocket here for the driver's side two uh, ac outlets which is really cool we got a usb connection as well here a little more uh, cubicle here so at least we got some ac outlets and a usb connection for your rear passengers so it's really nice the leather feels you know kind of you know a little bit harder and soft but it's not too bad it's this uh the syntec uh synthetic leather so we can see we get that plenty of trim it's really nice not bad up here we got single, single handle here not much in the back here but this looks really nice it means a little little chrome here the way this lights light up are cool so here we got guys the interior of the uh dash layout over here we got that 10 inch screen there and that's really nice i mean this is a little bit better and it's got some pretty good room here to be honest so not bad at all for this kia at all so all right, let's continue and head to the front. And before we head to the driver's side, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's powering this Kia Celtis there. Check out the motor. All right, so coming in here and popping the hood of this Kia. It's a little bit heavier hood that I've kind of done. So obviously we don't have any hydraulic assistance, so we gotta get our little stick and stick it all the way up here, guys, that's indicated there. All right, so for your base engine for the Kia Seltos, we have this two liter, normally aspirated inline four cylinder with 146 horsepower, 132 pound-feet of torque. Now this engine is connected to a, basically a CVT transmission, but what Kia calls IVT, which is Intelligent Variable Transmission. So it's basically it's a CVT, and this uh, this this one here, this Seltos does have the all-wheel drive system, which is basically a torque vectoring all-wheel drive system with center lock, which is a pretty cool uh, item to have. So you got all-wheel drive system, which is really cool. The only one, it's funny, the only uh, front wheel drive uh, Kia Seltos that you can get is the S model, which is basically that's the only one that you can, you can even option out four wheel drive, but the S model is the only front wheel drive model you can get. Everything else from the base ones to all the way down to the SX that are basically all wheel drive. You also have a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine that comes on that SX in the Nightfall Edition that has 175 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque, and they have the same basically all wheel drive system. But so you have it between this uh, four cylinder, normally aspirated, and the turbocharged 1.6. So this one here is producing about this one here, the in gas mileage is about 
27 city, 31 highway. So it's pretty fully fuel efficient now, I would say. And uh, it's a pretty good, you know, little decent engine. And just like, I have really haven't done anything major driving. I just drove it here about one mile. It has, I would say, plenty, plenty of power for every day. But this is pretty much still a light vehicle. So, but um, all right, guys, there we go. There's a power plant for this Kia Seltos. Let's go ahead and pop the hood open and this little thing is not easy to do so let's go ahead and put that stick back in its place and drop the hood all right let's go and check out the driver's side of this kia Celtas. now of course we have here some more hard plastics we have the black piano trim that's really nice but obviously we it gets a little bit dirty we got aluminum trim here kind of going along with the angle of the door handle and we have some of that black synthetic leather here that we as you can see we have your window controls mirror controls and we have some speaker wheels the speaker wheels got a very unique design to it which is pretty cool we got some more room for waters or whatever stuff you want to put down there now coming here to the inside we have your 10-way power adjustable seat just so basically the driver's side the passengers is a manual adjustable seat so we got of course that synthetic leather which is not bad at all i mean it feels pretty decently it looks feels definitely perfect it's got a little bit of design which is pretty cool we got a little bit of a uh, kind of light gray or white stitch in there and uh coming here we do have a leather cover steering wheel as you can see we got some more piano trim there and we got that color that you know kind of they put outside on the inside of the kia badging i think that's a little to me it looks like more like a little decal that was personally done now i don't know if that's basically something from kia from a dealership or that was basically somebody that did personally to their kia so obviously this is only a 5,000 mile old kia Celtis. so i guess somebody had that personally done uh, so we got some more panda trim here and this is still this is a little bit it's not it's pretty hard material here a bit of aluminum trims running in the uh, air vent so here we have some light controls we got your automatic stop start off button here we got your basically your lean assist uh, on and off button and your traction control button there and that's about it for this side let's go ahead guys and get in before we go in we do have a manually adjustable tilted and telescoping steering wheel as well so now let's go ahead and get inside all right so we are inside of this Celtus interior now i really like it. it's a very unique you know it's got a really nice modern feeling to it i mean it's basically pretty good for what this subcompact you know uh, suv is got plenty of visibility really nice we got a sunroof here as you can see we got some led lights we have all that kinds of things here in the, in the, in the middle uh we got basically mirrors here i don't see a glass uh, a sunglass holder but we have some lights here for your uvo basically your button for your uvo which is kind of a connection system but that's part of the information system there from from kia uh so we got some mirrors here as well and i said we got a light here it's pretty cool that's really interesting we got some led lighting here as well you can turn it off and on and uh, we have a little speaker system that's part of the uvo thing i remember that so um but it's really nice interior let's go ahead guys and get this uh turned on and get some ac going because it's a pretty hot day here in central florida and it is like 90 some degrees out here. It's super humid. So as you can see guys, everything lighting up. We got your Kia Connect system lighting up here. That 10.2 inch screen is really nice. We get a 3.5 inch screen here in the middle. Uh, there is a seven inch screen here you can get here. That's probably a whole, the whole thing. That's into the SX model, which is the higher model. Uh, but uh, it's really nice. Everything's really well. Your hand, the steering wheel feels excellent. You got, of course, all your controls here for your center screen and cruise control and, and radio as well. Um, and then we see a little button here also done in that little Miami blue type of color, which is pretty cool. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead and see if we can hear that two liter engine. What does that say? Vehicle will turn off automatically in 29 minutes. That's interesting the way I've seen that before on cars, but um, doesn't really like to me the rabbit. It feels like it's in me. <laughs> I don't know if something's going on but it doesn't sound too bad obviously it sounds like a regular four-cylinder engine so as you can see guys checking out before i close the door that speaker wheels are pretty cool it's kind of like a mountainy type of a terrain look to those speaker wheels which is pretty cool let's go ahead and close the door i'm gonna go ahead and put on our seat belt because we're gonna go on the test drive in just a moment so a uh, really really interesting uh, interior for this kia Celtus. i really like it it's pretty nice i mean compared for example to the rav4 that i've been in i've been also in the ford echo sport this is definitely a much better, much better interior uh much more modern because we got that black piano trim it's got a unique uh, unique trim to it i'm sure it's going to get pretty nasty if you don't clean it up pretty often uh so going back to the screen guys here we have a 10.25 inch screen here uh this has got all kinds of connections you can see we also have a navigation as well um it's really cool and it's a very anti a touchscreen has really great navigation and graphics so as you can see we go back to the home menu map we got navigation phone we got the phone integration voice memo climate all kinds of great things we also have sounds in nature which is basically something that uh, kia and i think also hyundai does it as well so you got basically kind of you know forest uh we have calm waves really cool what all that does 
uh, really interesting <laughs> to have that. So we got Valet mode, we got all kinds of things. This touch is excellent, as you can see. We got that Evo there as well. Uh, radio, media, and all that kind of stuff. We go back to radio. Um, we'll go back to our radio here, as you can see. So we got checking out the screen, of course, we got the radio system. This has got a six speaker based radio. Which doesn't sound too bad. Obviously, it's a pretty decent sounding stereo. You can get also, I believe on the SX and Nightfall, you can get an eight speaker Bose system as well. So this is just, this is just half your base six speaker stereo. So checking out the rest, we have basically your AC outlets. We got your hazards here. We got your single zone AC down here, which is really intuitive. We got really, you know, you can increase all, basically they got a LCD screen here. Now really simple to operate, which I love. Uh, down here, guys, we do have a wireless charging pad. As you can see, my phone is in there charging right now. So that's a really cool feature. You know, it's kind of hidden back here. It does have a wireless this um, iPad chat wireless pad for charging down below that we have a 12 volt connection here as you can see we have a USB connection and a charging USB connection there a little more storage page here on the bottom we got your CVT or IVT transmission and we have some drive modes as you can see guys if we go here we got sport we got smart and we got normal so it gives you three modes to drive I'll we'll go back to this menu in just a few moments so here we have your center locked uh, differential for your all-wheel drive system we got some heat seating as well so both seats here in the front have a uh, seating we don't have not we don't have any um i don't think we have any steering wheel that's heated but we do have seats that are heat up and here we have your hill descent kind of cruise control that helps you out for that button there uh, uh, besides i guess we only a cup holders here if you raise a little armrest here in the middle we have nothing basically just a little bit of a place to put your stuff there but that's about it guys pretty interior pretty you know basic interior but it's got plenty of amenities and it's really nice and well laid out everything's very intuitive everything's well you know engineered uh, you know where it should be and uh, it feels really nice it feels for me it feels compact and uh i think it, kia did a well a good job with the interior of the sign of this interior now going back to the, uh, the interior guys here to the center screen here we got a 3.5 inch screen that shows you all kinds of displays as you can see we have driver information we got all kinds of things you can do full economy smart echo mode dynamic we do have a, a, a digital ve a velocity we have a digital speedometer and we go also some more than more we got basically a compass we got attention level that's basically the kia's your basically when it drives itself with the uh the cruise control and uh that's pretty cool guys so yeah that's got you know we got pretty good decent amount here we got volume control for your radio and all kinds of motion you can do so it's got you know pretty pretty good stuff around and uh let's go back and uh, put that back into the uh digital speedometer of course we got analog gauges on the side here and we got no we got no, no we got no silver paddles or anything here in the back we just have basically your wipers and all that kind of stuff here and uh but that's about it guys so all right guys nice let's go out and go out for a drive in this Celtus. Now, isn't Celtus the name of Hercules, the son of Hercules, something like that from the Greek mythology? That's kind of kind of thinking that it was. So, all right, this is a, you know it's a very quiet engine. You can see, guys, it's on. I can barely hear the engine at all. Um, we're gonna drive and let's go and get onto Sport. That's the channel we are. Gonna get the, the, now. Obviously, this being a light car, this is a subcompact SUV. Uh, I think it's like 3,100 pounds if I'm correct. The weight, so it's pretty light, lighter than my three series. Um, let's go ahead, guys, and put this on drive we are on sport mode we got a cvt transmission so i'm not expecting you know anything but let's see how good this transmission is if we can give a little push so let's go ahead and give us a little bit of turn radius here that turns out this is a this is pretty not pretty nice turning radius and let's go ahead and get to drive this kia Celtos in sport mode so we got you know a two liter normally aspirated inline four cylinder with 146 horsepower so it doesn't have a ton of horsepower 132 pound feet of torque at your fingertips and we're going to put some of that ac into my camera before this gopro 10 overheats here so feels very compact you know the hood line is very very low as well uh not as much as hondas are or something like that or but uh just got a little nice Signed to the hood there. Everything's really good at your fingertips. I can see all the instrumentation is well laid out, even the screen here. Now the engine just shut off on me since we came to a stop. It's thinking we're out of light. We have a button here. We're gonna shut that off so the engine comes on. It does not go um, and stop at the lights this morning anymore. I don't like that fan of feature. I do prefer the hold button, which basically when you come to a light, you can put on the brake and you left go of the brake and it holds the car. So just go ahead guys and do a bit of off-roading here <laughs> not much at all so it's cool that it's got a center locking differential and all that kind of stuff or I, I guess that's kind of similar to what it is for this all-wheel drive system but obviously it's an intelligent all-wheel drive system that helps you out puts the power out to where it's needed so um, all right guys let's go ahead and nobody coming let's go ahead and get out and see how this one does so i can see that cv2 transmission 
that's not too bad let's see how good this thing handles here so i'm gonna put no brake on it yeah it's pretty compact too as you can see yeah it's pretty light this thing just hangs on there it does not you know uh, feel very heavy in the turns but it feels very nice very comfortable the power plant's very smooth as well as the cvt transmission or the ivt transmission let's go ahead and got nobody behind let's go ahead and test out the brakes a little bit the brake pedal feels very nice it's got plenty of braking power so we get a bit of uh, flooring here yeah not much a lot of power and you can tell the cvt is actually you know changing uh, or, or basically doing some fake changes but it's not bad at all i mean it's it doesn't get out of its way you know super quick but it's, it's for every day you know considering the gas mileage you get 27 to the city 31 on the highway that won't be bad i mean this is a more of a daily commuter car it's a subcompact car you know it's an econo car but it's just a, it's just a pretty nice econo car i don't really consider this thing an econo car there goes another one it's just a pretty nice interior i mean not long ago that you know some of the higher trim models like an accord or something like that had this much much of a nice interior so this kia is really nice i mean very well equipped i think we can go so really nice feeling uh you know it's very light on his feet obviously it's not a heavy vehicle um, and I, i'm not a fan of cbt's to be honest um, i prefer the regular six speed seven speed or ten speed automatics especially cf8 and cf automatics but it's not bad i mean obviously you know uh, what i've driven the uh the toyota's um the toyota ctv and this one it's not that it doesn't feel too bad so obviously we're going to get some yeah it doesn't have any torque obviously you know getting to drive for example ford ecoboost engines with all that torque from the turbo um, i'm sure the 1.6 liter has much more different torque a lot more feeling torque than this but um, i'm sure that drives very similar to the ford ecoboost but obviously having a normally aspirated engine you know it takes a little bit of getting used to you gotta rev it up to get some power and so but it's it's not not bad at all i mean for every day you care about gas mileage and efficiency this is your car for you here so very nice feeling it's uh the noise is there's no not really not much wind noise there is a bit of road noise from the tires but other than that it's not bad i mean this thing feels really compact it? and super light uh very light it doesn't feel unstable we're doing about 60 right now if we get a bit of more power i mean it goes but it's not too bad yeah it's got some decent power but nothing crazy at all but it's got some good stability though i mean the stability is nice uh, it's not bad, you know, it's got, doesn't feel like any top heavy or anything like that. It feels like a compact sedan, to be honest. But of course, you're running a little higher. In the, but, but I really like it, really nice. Very nice Kia Seltos. Uh, I think Kia did a great job with this. And the brake, yeah, the brake feels good. It's got some good stopping power. Obviously, you got 12 inch rotors in the front with single piston caliper. It's got some pretty good rotors considering the size of this uh, SUV. It's back here because these people kind of cut into the, your corner here but uh very nice everything's at your fingertips you can see guys you got the radio here we got everything here at your fingertips we got your nav if you want to put the nav we we'll just go ahead and what's going up map here we go and we can also put a little screen here if you want to put a little more your radio station along with your map so that's pretty cool everything's nice you got seat heaters as well which is kind of an unexpected kind of feature in a subcompact model like this um so guys this being a 5,000 mile just over 5,000 miles you got 5,036 miles in this kia so let's go ahead and get, give it a little bit of gas and see how this all-wheel drive handles so you got the you know the combination of the all-wheel drive it's not bad at all i mean it kind of moves you can see the fake transmission changes but uh of the cvt but i don't know we're you're right to see right up to 62 so it's not super fast but uh, it's pretty pretty decently quick uh for every day but as you can see guys so we got the all-wheel drive system that helps you out uh definitely can feel a little bit of the pull there um but it's a very good feeling it should be very good handling i mean it's very nice and agile uh feels pretty playful um i like it i mean it's a really cool i mean it doesn't i'm hearing that copy does not feel like by any means like you're squished in here it's a pretty good uh it's got pretty good room in here but i mean it feels very i don't not feel compact or kind of squished in here very nice very good room inside here as well for your feet and legs uh really cool really nice very yeah i was i was i'm definitely impressed by this kia solstice i mean it's it's much much better than i thought to be honest um 
excellent SUV for the price. Now, as I was saying, guys, this is it's got over a little over 5,000 miles. Now, this is a slightly used, of course, 2022 model, and uh, Barto Ford is asking, I think, $31,000. I'll put that up for the screen for you guys. So, the base price for this uh, EX Celtos is around $26,000. So you're looking at that's well, yeah, it's a few thousand dollars, so a little higher than I would say MSR regular MSRP. Yes, if you're gonna, these are mostly option off. Um, there's a few things you can get, but not much in, according to each trim level, according to what I saw on the Kia's website when I was building one. So um, obviously this is not part of that little color, that aqua blue color, that or the Miami blue color that's on, on around, around the car, and then some of the little badges here. I think that was put on by either the Kia Kia dealer did it, or basically this was done by somebody who likes the color and wanted to spruce up a little bit of color so but it actually doesn't go too bad it's pretty cool looking so but um there we go guys let's see if we can catch this light so we get back into r and we're gonna do a little bit of far turn here oh yeah no this thing handles pretty good it feels so light on its feet too and it grips it definitely does grip so <laughs> it's pretty fun that's what i like about these compact cars are fun they're light very tossable you know um and obviously this has got no doesn't have the power to give it a little bit of drift with the all-wheel drive system but uh you know it's pretty fun reliable it's efficient it's roomy it's got plenty of amenities it's got a nice 10 inch screen you got an ac you got heated seats um it's quite a bit of mod for the money i mean there's some bmws or some you know european you know something like the audi a3 or something that you know the q3 something that they ain't gonna have all the stuff of you know all this type of um amenities and you know options for for 33 30 34 thousand no way so you're gonna be looking at a much higher price for that so in conclusion guys excellent suv i mean very nice but power is decent for every day you know if you're not into power this has got plenty of power for every day uh i like it's very efficient you know i mean it's to me it's going to be efficient it feels excellent it feels light on its feet handles very good excellent room and uh, so what more can you ask for this is an excellent SUV I would probably recommend something this is pretty fun obviously it's not you know there's all there's a lot of competition to this Celtos you know you got Honda Toyota Nissan uh, you know you got a lot of competition from this even in its own even Kia the Kona you got the Kona N so let's go ahead guys uh, and check out we do have to check out the reverse camera before I miss that so let's go ahead guys and uh, come up to a stop here and let's go ahead and put our reverse camera here on. So as you can see guys, reverse camera, we have no sensors at all. Uh, we just have a little bit of, uh, you can basically switch this down. Oh, excuse me, you can put this down and kind of look down to the hitch area. I don't know if this thing can tow. If it can tow, it probably can tow maybe a thousand pounds. I'll put that on information. I, I, I didn't see anything about towing, but if I do, guys, I'll put that information about on the screen for you guys. But as you can see, guys, we do have a bit of a trajectory lines. There's no sensors or anything like that. And the camera quality is not too bad. Uh, you know, it's not super sharp, but it's got a really nice uh, graphics to it. And as you can see, we can back up a little bit more. Uh, you can definitely see that it's got a really nice graphic. So at least you got a nice backup camera. And uh, but uh, there we go, guys. 2022 Kia Solstice EX model. Really nice. I mean, really interesting interior. Really like the way it is. It's just black on black. It's nice. Uh, you know, really equipped SUV for 32,000 or for about you know lower you know, high 20s. It's, it's pretty pretty good vehicle considering you know what you get. And then the room is not bad at all. So all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all that have subscribed. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Hit the like button, subscribe, guys. Help out the channel, support it. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of uh, reviews. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.